So read them out loud? Okay. Donald Trump's words coming out of my mouth. <laughs> I'm gonna have to take a sip of water for that. Oh. Ludicrous. Okay. <clears throat> a tremendous infectious disease is pouring across the border. The U.S. has become a dumping ground for everyone else's problems. They're sending us not the right people. When Mexico sends its people, they're not sending their best. They're sending people that have lots of problems. And they're bringing those problems to us. They're bringing drugs. They're bringing crime. They're rapists. And some, I assume, are good people. <laughs> he said this aloud. <laughs> but the good ones, of which there are many, I want to expedite it. So they can come back in. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> okay, let me pick that up. I'm so angry. Sorry. Oh, sorry. My name is Kevin Park, or Sangmin Park. I'm Michaela. My name is Annabelle. I'm from Nigeria originally. I was 17 when I found out I was undocumented. I've been in this country almost 34 years, and I work in real estate. And I'm an undocumented immigrant. I'm from South Korea. I am in process of getting my green card currently. I was born and brought up in Pakistan, and I'm a practicing Muslim. A good immigrant is. Is it like you graduate college, you get H1 visa, pursues higher education, somebody who's very hardworking. You go to a company, you become a longtime employee. Oh, people who um, come here and are PhDs, sort of assumed to come from certain areas in the world, and maybe even look a certain way. Trying to immigrate to the U.S. is very different depending on where you're coming from. It's much easier from Europe than it is, say, from Africa or from a developing country like Pakistan, where I'm from. As a German immigrant, I, I realize that people of color are being treated differently. People think that all, un all undocumented immigrants are Mexican field laborers. You know, those farm workers that we don't often hear speak for the immigrant community when we do interviews like this. I think they're amazing immigrants. Today it was 100 degrees in the fields and there's people picking fruit and vegetables so that we can eat. You know, but people don't think of them as good immigrants. People think of them as just, you know, these immigrants who are doing the grunt work of America. On top of that, they, they just demean them. That, 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 that's not right. And, and I think, in my opinion, those are good immigrants. I've been thinking a lot about what it means to be the good immigrant because I feel like to have the good immigrant, you also would have to have the bad immigrant. When I think of what a stereotype of a bad immigrant would be, I guess it would be if somebody was committing crime, if somebody was um, just taking advantage of the system. To leave your country, to leave your family, your friends, your job, you know, everything you know, to go to another country and say, I'm going to make this happen, that's an entrepreneurial mindset. So what you're really getting here is the cream of the crop. I know a lot of immigrants and pretty much, I mean, I, I don't know any bad immigrants. <laughs> I know in some people's mind, anybody who's undocumented is a bad one. There's many different ways that people fell out of status. There's many different ways that people became undocumented. For some reason or another, it, my paperwork would be misfiled, misplaced. It took me about 18 years to get my, my green card. I understand the struggle of, of thousands of people who go through the system and, and fall out of status. You cannot make one mistake, one small mistake can literally cost you your life. There's, there's pressure. You feel like you have to be an ambassador all the time. I'm just tired of having to defend my where I come from and the people who look like me. <laughs> And I take offense. I'm not, I'm, I'm not this person, I'm not a rapist, and I'm not a criminal. You cannot just call somebody based on one fact that you're a bad person or you're a good person. I wonder who gets to decide who's good and who's bad. I no longer consider myself one of the good immigrants because I don't care to be. The standards that the good immigrant is held to are unachievable, so I can't be a good immigrant, not anymore. <laughs>